up when you ask them questions. YouTube has a lot of information but little of use. This is where Study Spectrum TV channel comes in picture. Every chapter explained by different teachers with different examples and repeat telecasts. We remember 20% of the audio ads we hear, 30% of the printed items we see. But we remember 70% of the audio visuals. That is why video teaching is a powerful medium to learn. After watching Study Spectrum TV channel, you get a peaceful sleep with no tensions and no worries. You devote less time towards your studies and you get better marks in your exams. Visit us on www.studyspectrum.com. Follow us on Facebook. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe for Study Spectrum TV channel and keep edifying. are also not completely safe for animals. Why? The answer to this is very obvious that today these forests are being explored, are being invaded by the hunters and the poachers. There should be strict measures to regulate, to punish the hunting, irregulated hunting and poaching happening today. Next Next question is, some tribe depends on jungle. How? The some tribals that live in the jungle, they are dependent completely on the jungle for their food, their shelter, their wood, their fruits and everything. So, these forests need to be preserved for the survival of these tribes. The next question is, what are the causes and consequences of deforestation? First, we will start with the causes of deforestation. The destruction of forests, the complete destruction of forests can be caused by two reasons. First is natural calamities and second is man-made reasons. Natural calamities as we all know as, far as fire, forest fire, the floods can destroy the forest. And the man-made reasons are, can be of two types. First is the destruction of forests for construction for farming, for building dams, for mining ores and for many other reasons like industrialization, urbanization, building of cities and all. And the second reason is the fragmentation of the forest. Forest gets divided into two parts by either construction of highways or diverting the route of the rivers for construction of dams. These two are the causes for the deforestation. Now we come to the consequences of deforestation. These consequences majorly affect plants and animals in different ways. Animals can be get affected by deforestation by direct loss of habitat, direct loss of shelter. Animals can like migrating species, hibernating species. We have all seen in the chapter, we have all discussed earlier in the chapter about migrating species. How hibernating species, the climatic conditions and all are affected by deforestation. All these animals get affected by deforestation. In plants, we have seen how uh, less number of plants, decrease in the number of trees can lead to global warming, can lead to desertification, can lead to droughts, can lead to increase in the pollution in the atmosphere. These are the consequences of this deforestation on plants and animals. We will go to the next question. What is a red data book? Red Data Book is the collection of all the endangered species of plants and animals. These, this book keeps the record, the separate record of both animals and plants separately. You can google this book anytime to know the details of the animals of certain area, the extinct animals of certain area, the endangered animals and plants of certain area. Next question, what do you understand by term migration? For the purpose of breeding and for the adaptation to certain climatic conditions, some species of birds and animals travel the length of the forest, travel long distances. These species are called as migratory species. 
these species they, they travel from one a part to another next question is what do you understand by migration for the purpose of breeding and for the purpose of adapting to certain climatic condition some species travel the lengths of the forest from one habitat to another these species are called as migratory species these species of birds and animals they become the part of different habitats and breeding areas thus they help in increasing the biodiversity they undergo lot of cross breeding so lot of different breeds are formed because of these migratory species the deforestation leads to cut off of these migrating species from one part of the forest to other they cannot travel because of the cities from because of the urbanization so ultimately the migrating species migrating species are getting extincted day by day a lot we'll go to the next question in order to meet the ever increasing demand of food and shelter and factories trees have been continuously cut is it justified to cut the trees discuss and prepare the brief report to answer this question first we need to understand the deforestation the deforestation is the new is a human need for we are doing deforestation we are cutting trees for all human needs for getting the wood for making the bamboos for construction for all other reasons we are you for making paper for so many reasons we are cutting the trees so ultimately if we need these trees and the wood in our day to day life how are we going to cut off our needs we cannot completely stop living we cannot completely stop using paper so what exactly we can do we can do reforestation reforestation can be used to justify the cutting of the trees reforestation is restocking of the destroyed forest by planting more and more number of trees these planted trees should be of spe same species as that of the species of that area these species that there should be a rule that how many how much ever trees you cut that much trees you need to plant that is called the reforestation reforestation is the only solution to the deforestation and the problems and the consequences that we are facing if we want our future generations to witness the beauty of flora and fauna that is present today and have a an healthy life reforestation should be emphasized more and more now we'll go to the next question how can you contribute to the maintenance of the green wealth of your locality reforestation and other things other making of wildlife sanctuaries the bird sanctuaries and the ecosphere reserves these are the projects that have been taken by the government how do we as individual support our locality to conserve our green wealth there can be simple means of doing it we can simply plant a tree every day we can simply encourage people send the message and the importance of conservation of wildlife and the forest second thing we can do we should be we should teach people the consequences of global warming the losses that humans are facing because of the global warming because of the cutting of the trees the education is the biggest means the biggest contribution that we can give to the society to conserve this green wealth we can encourage slogans like one man one tree save tigers these slogans will help us to ultimately conserve our plants and animals we'll go to the next question explain how deforestation leads to reduced rainfall deforestation is cutting of trees complete eradication complete destruction of the forest how do how does it affects the rainfall it affects we have seen this earlier in the lecture we have seen it earlier in the chapter that the as plants take up atmospheric carbon dioxide and give out oxygen in process of photosynthesis this oxygen ultimately is helpful for human beings and other animals and microorganisms but if these plants are not present the carbon dioxide level rises 
and ultimately leading to holding of more of heat at the level of earth and the atmosphere this heat leads to global warming and this global warming leads to less formation of the clouds how this how does exactly this happens ultimately the water cycle is disturbed plants absorb water from the soil and this water content of the plants get evaporated in the atmosphere to form clouds if there are less of plants there will be less formation of clouds and thus less rains we we'll go to the next question find out information about the na national parks in your state identify and show the locations on the outline of map of india as you can say we can take an example of maharashtra state in maharashtra state there are majorly four national parks the chandoli national park in sangli region the gugamal national park in amravati region in sanjay gandhi national park in borivli region and taboda national park in chandrapur region these national park as you can see in the map and you can locate the national park and see the areas and the diversities of the animals present in it next question is why should paper be saved prepare a list of ways by which you can save paper paper is a very basic thing that we use in our day to day life in our daily life we are using so much of paper but we hardly know that for making 1 ton of paper so many fully grown trees have to be cut what are the ways to conserve this paper basic thing we can start from from ourselves is that recycle the paper that we are using it use the right mode of recycling keep the used paper aside and give give it to the right person to the right place where actual recycling of the paper is done second thing we can do is that we can put all the garbage all the garbage the bits of papers that are present lying here and there on the and in our locality we can put together and keep them as a separate dry garbage so that they can be used for recycling third thing we can do is that we should donate our old books or old textbooks and over old notes and everything to old people to to poor people to young generations so that more and the more textbooks are being used and less of the paper is required for next printing third thing we can do that we can we should entertain use more use of recycled paper products there are many recycled paper products like paper bins and there are many uh, booklets and there are many paper pads paper bags these are made from the recycled paper we should try to use that recycled paper rather than using fresh papers third thing for last thing that we can do is that we can avoid using paper bags and rather than we can carry our own jute bags we can carry our own cloth bags so that we can use less paper now we'll go to the next question now we'll come to the last question why is the need of conservation of wildlife wildlife is an asset of aesthetic historical cultural educational importance to us it helps in maintenance of ecological balance it also helps us in in balancing the entire food chain so we as human beings at the top most level of the ecology we have to take the moral responsibility of conservation of the lower segments of the ecology that is the plants and the animals the animals and plants of medicinal values are getting extinct so the need of conservation of these wildlife forests and sanctuaries are very much important <clears throat> all the natural animal products that we used to get from all the domestic animals are getting extinct they we are using lot of synthetic products for the natural products to come back we need to conserve this wildlife and this wildlife is a boost to the tourism so for the sake of the tourism of your state of your country we really need to conserve this wildlife system so in this way we have seen how the effect of conservation of plants and animals is there how we need to go about the conservation of these plants and animals so that we can have a balanced life and also a healthier future also we can stop the extinction of many endangered species and add to the heritage of our 
country and of our society.